Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, and here behind me, I'm gonna have a 2023 Honda Pilot EXL. Let's dive right in and show you all the cool stuff now. All right, so here we are right outside the 2023 Honda Pilot EXL. I'm gonna walk around this vehicle to show you guys all the cool standard features and functions to save you time before you arrive at your local Honda dealership, all right? Now, if you guys have any questions at all, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions as I come across those. And also, if you guys found this video helpful, please do me the favor and support my channel by hitting like and subscribe. I put a lot of time in these to keep you guys well informed in between helping my customers. Now, if you also like these videos, check out my other videos. I have some vehicle settings that set you up for success after driving the vehicle off the lot so you can set the vehicle exactly the way you want it. Then I also have tips and tricks and other videos too as well to help you guys out that much more, all right? So let's kind of dive right in and show you guys all the cool standard features and functions on this brand new pilot all right guys so here we are right i'll say the 2023 honda pilot exl this is where the leather starts for you guys as usual let's walk up here to the window sticker all right you guys are welcome to pause the video right about there if you want to explore on your own now up on the top right hand corner is going to talk about your fuel economy let's focus you got 19 for the city 25 for the highway with a combined of 21 down on the right hand corner talks about your safety readings right now not rated as you guys can see from that point right here lincoln alabama is where the vehicle is made at it's a u.s made product the price point for this vehicle right there now there is going to be a surplus charge for this particular color right here for you guys you can see for rating red metallic all right and then the list of standard features that we're going to try to cover today if we can get the camera to focus right there for you guys all right i'm going to step back here i'm going to throw some additional color options up there and then also there's going to be a surplus charge for that particular color so you guys will be in the know all right what color will you guys pick? Drop it down below in the comments. Now, as we walk right over here towards the front of the vehicle, it comes down with two key fobs and remote start to use your remote start. All you have to do is hit lock twice. Hold this button down here for a few seconds. You're going to see your lights going to flash right at you. Starts right up. The lights going to flash back at you again. It runs in 10 intervals and the doors will remain locked. So let's say eight minutes pass. I repeat the process again. Now the vehicle is going to run for the grand total of 18 minutes. Doors remain locked, then it shuts off automatically by itself from that point, or I can hold this button down here and it shuts off automatically from there. Now, all of your Honda Sensing features are standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, your forward collision, road departure, and traffic jam assist. Boom, standard right in there, okay? Now you have a 3.5 V6. I'm gonna throw horsepower and torque right up there so you guys know you guys are playing around with too as well, all right? Now we're gonna also have some additional safety stuff too as well. I'm talking about like your LED lights. It's gonna be nice all the way around, your headlights your fog lights, your daytime run lights, and your tail lights, all LED. We're gonna have front parking sensors, body color. You can see these bad boys right there, right over there. So that's gonna be great. You also have them in the back too. Now we also got some chrome action right here within the front nose. You guys can see right up there on the eyebrow, a big, massive, nice kind of black grill going on with a big H right there, Honda. You guys are living the dream as you guys are checking these out. As I hit the lock button, you can see the turn in indicator right up there. So you can see where that bad boy's at. Now, as we're going to step right over here towards the side, you can see more chrome right down over here. We're going to come back a little bit, wrap around, check out those nice 18-inch alloy rims. Looking pretty snazzy. Get a little close shot here for you guys, for those that are into the rims. Then we're going to step here back far as I can. Into the pile of snow we go. Now you guys can see the side profile of the vehicle. I'm gonna throw some exterior measurements up there so you guys know how it does it compare to the previous generation of the Honda Pilot. Check out my videos if you guys are looking at that. Then also how does it compare to other market uh, vehicles out there in the market, all right? It's a little cold today. Woo, that's why I'm stuttering. Now, as you guys can see here, you got body colored side handles, body colored side mirror, got a little chrome action right there on the bottom of the windows, rear tinted windows. You have a nice black finish right there within the pillar, then also around on the upper right there. You have a big massive C pillar, as you can see, kind of makes a nice distinguished look just for you guys. Got a little trim work down below. Now we got turning indicators on the side mirror. All right, these are gonna be a breakaway side mirrors. So if you need to fold these in, it's pretty nice and easy. You can fold them out. If they hit anything, you're fine. They're gonna be great. Now we also gonna have the blind spot information system right here for you guys. Perfect. So as you're driving down the road, a vehicle's in your blind spot, that lights up. Then we have you turning indicator on while someone's in your blind spot, then it's gonna beep at you. 
You can customize all of your Honda Sensei features the way you want them, okay? So do you want all the beeps, none of the beeps, stuff like that? I'm gonna try to get a video out there to show you guys how to set that stuff up. Now, we also gonna have smart entry with the vehicle too as well, all right? So you have the key fob with you. It's all locked up. Put your hand in the handle. It senses that automatically unlocks. You can also keep the key fob in your pocket. You get these little ridges right here. Locks it right up so you can walk away with confidence or you can use the walk away auto lock feature. So when you have it enabled, you have the key fob with you, you get 10 feet away, boom, it locks all the doors automatically for you. So you never ever have to second guess that I lock the doors, that I not, so things like that, okay? Now you cannot accidentally, whoops, drop that right in there. Hit the lock button. We need your key fob in there, right? And then like, oh, I locked my keys in the car. You cannot accidentally do that, but you can get the second key out and lock your keys in the car if you want to, okay? So that's gonna be pretty nice. We're gonna close that right there. Gas tank, when a card's unlocked, you simply push the door right in. There you go, pops right up. No longer $2 cap to argue debate with. It's a simple slide and go, living the dream right there. Pretty darn easy. Then when you shut this, lock it right back up. Guess what? All that's locked up for you, all right? There's the gas tank. We're gonna step here towards the back of the vehicle. Once again, you have LED taillights, just makes a bold statement as you apply onto the brakes, you know, for safety too as well. You got all-wheel drive badging down the bottom left-hand corner. Then of course, again, we're gonna have those lovely parking sensors down below here for you guys, okay? Now, let's kind of zoom right in here. I got nothing but glare. Hope you can see they got the whole pilot going on in the back here with a nice black finish. Big H going on. Rear tension, you got a rear wiper and a tailgate spoiler right there. You have a power lift gate. You can do it right here on the fob or there's going to be a button that you can use. Opens right up. Now as we're talking about the tailgate, here we go. It's going to be height adjustable, unlike last year. All right, unlike the 22 year models, you can do this. You can click and hold it. It's going to open and close to that setting every single time now. So that's going to be great. That was one of the common questions I got from my 22 uh, year models. It's Chris, does my pilot have this? And the answer was no. Now I can say yes, it does. Now, of course, we kept her to this bad boy right in there. You got a deep storage area right here, right? Let's hold thing in reverse. There we go. So if you need a little hard top, if you got it like a cooler, stuff like that, you want to protect it, you can right there. A nice little courtesy tray off to the side. And then we're going to have another one right over here too as well for you guys. Looks like you can remove this if you need to clean it. And then you're going to have a 12-volt plug-in right here, okay? I'm going to throw some cargo measurements up there so you guys know what you're going to be playing around with. Let me know how it does compare to the other ones out there. Then also, is there enough room for you guys as life happens, okay? All right, let's just take these seats down so you can look like with all the seats down. Boom, here we are. We got all the seats down now, as you guys can see. So that's what it's gonna look like with the seats down, all right? Now, as we get over here towards the back, you got some cup holders right back here for the third row seat, adjustable vents. You're gonna have a USB right here for you guys so they can keep that technology well charged. Cause you know, kids gonna like that whoever's gonna be sitting back here then on the other side once again usb adjustable vent cup holders so they can complain that they need to use the restroom from all those good beverages they're drinking now you are gonna have a courtesy tie downs there and right over there we got them right back here for you guys and then we're right back over there once again so if you need those courtesy tie downs you have them set for success all right all right let's fold the seats right back up and then there we are. We got everything right up there for you guys. We're gonna close this right back up. So now you can see what it's gonna look like with all the seats up. Let's jump here in the back here quick as we're gonna open this up. Before we dive right in, I'm gonna throw some interior measurements up there for you guys. So you guys know how much room is gonna be in there for your friends, pets, cargo. Who's ever gonna be brave enough to tag along with you guys so you're gonna know if there's enough room at all or not, all right? Now, as we're checking out the door here quick, before diving in further, you can see we've got a built-in shades right here for the second row seats. That's gonna be great so the people over here, they can stay out the sun and just kind of take a nice little cozy nap now as we're checking up the door here quick you got a nice little trim work going on here leather armrest pyro windows and then you got little cup holder here some tray action and then more cubby space down below all right so that's the door we're gonna shift right in here you see the leather interior of course we're gonna have leather for the exl to access the third row seat it's right there it slides right forward and makes it easy for them to jump back there 
Now, when the people on the back, once the second row people get out, the third row right here, you have a little button too on the back side so they can get out if they need to as well. You got your anchor tie downs too if you need to for those car seats. Now, as we're talking about car seats, you gotta be nice and exposed for you can latch everything right in between all three settings for you, okay? Now, as we uh, dive right in, you got a little courtesy pocket here for some additional storage, a little place for the phone, adjustable vents right over there, climate control, a couple USBs down below. It does not come standard with all season mats, but I have them in here from Honda so you can see what they're going to look like, okay? Courtesy pocket right there on the back of the passenger front seat as well. Now, this folds right down. Pull that. Ta-da! Now we got a little divider, a little tray action, a cup holders right here if we need to from that. Now your third seat belt is going to be right up here. Then a third seat belt for the third row seat is going to be right over there. Alright, now we're going to jump up front here quick for you guys. As we're going to do that, we're going to check out the door once again. All right. So we're going to have two seat memory. You're going to have your leather armrest right here. You guys know about power windows, power locks. You get your mirror selector between left and right. And then just in case anyone misbehaves with those young whippersnappers, you can lock the windows so they can't mess with those from right here. Down below, we have a cup holder, some additional tray action, some more cubby action right there. Then we're going to shift focus right in here for you guys. Sorry if it's a little mess. <laughs> we test drove this car a few times, but let's kind of talk about the driver's seat here quick. It's going to be a power seat. You got your forward, you got your back, you got your up, you got your down, you got a little tilt action here on the front half. You can see that bad boy. And then we're going to have reclined and then lumbar support. All right. We get pedals to get A to B, and then we get your hood release. It's give you way back underneath there. Pull that towards you. Now let's go show you some common courtesy stuff under the hood. All right, so here we are for those common courtesy stuff, the things you may do by yourself. Just because life is busy, you may not have time or the skill set to work on the vehicle yourself. But these are the things you may need to know. For example, the washer fluid, it's a nice blue cap right here. Pretty nice and easy to find that. Then right over here, you get your dipstick for your oil. You can find that between any day or nighttime right there. So that's pretty cool. Oil caps right down below. Battery connection right down here. Brake fluid. And there we go. All right. And it looks like we have your radiator cap right underneath there. A little challenging to get to, but now you know where it's at. You guys have any more of those advanced questions? Contact your local Honda dealership service center. I'm sure they'll be glad to assist you guys and answer any questions you may have about your routine maintenance and things about the vehicle underneath the hood. Now let's dive right back up front. All right, so here we are right in the driver's seat here. Quick, guys, is we're going to back up here. So make sure you have the key file with you in your purse, your pocket, your jacket, just in the car, okay? First step you want to do is take your foot, put it on the brake. You'll see the button lights right up there for you. Hit the button. Now watch everything light up. As the vehicle starting, I'm going to talk about the stuff over here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, okay? So, as we're looking here, you got your power lift gate. You can't just tap. You have to click and hold that, and then your power lift gate would open and close. Your vehicle stability assist is going to be right here. So, if you ever get stuck in the snow, mud, stuff like that, that's when you're going to turn that off, okay? Steering wheel adjustments right over here on the left-hand side. Pull that bad boy down, pops right out. Then it goes in, out, up, and down. So, you can adjust as you see fit, and then just go ahead and lock that right back in place. Now we're going to talk about the stuff on the steering wheel here quick. You have a nice leather wrap steering wheel. Check that out. Little horn action. Pretty cool, right? Now we're going to talk about the stuff here on the right hand side. It's going to be your Honda Sentine features, all right? So you got your cruise control is going to be this button there. Now, as we check out the cruise control, you can see that your cruise control is available. This is the adaptive cruise because you get the speedometer with a little arrow pointing in that's going to lock it right in place. You don't know, lock it in place. Then we got a little car action right in front of it. So that's adaptive cruise. So with the adaptive cruise control, you can adjust the distance with this button right here between you and the car in front of you while you have your adaptive cruise control enabled. So, for example, let's say we're driving down the road, you're going 45 miles an hour, the car in front of you is going 43, it finds the car in range, it beeps at you, you can turn that on or off, then it slows you down to maintain, maintain that distance between you and the car in front of you. Now, once they get out of the way, whoop, there they go, you resume back to whatever your cruise control speed was set at, okay? So, pretty cool. Now, let's say for some reason you do not like the adaptive cruise control, not a problem. Honda made it pretty easy, so you can go back to the standard cruise. All you have to do is click this button down, hold it, and then there we go. Now it's standard cruise. You can tell that because it popped right up there. And then also you got a little speedometer without the car like it's locking in place. So therefore, it would not 
uh, slow you down to maintain distance, all right? So if you accidentally hold that button down too long, once again, now you know how to set it, turn it on or off, okay? Now you can set your cruise by this little button right here. It actually has the tether uh, toggle switch you put down and a toggle up to adjust the speeds. Then you get your cancel from there. This is your traffic jam assist and lane keep assist button right there. So that's what's gonna keep you in the center of your lane for your highway and city driving. So you'll see the visuals up here uh, what is going on, okay? As you're going out of your lane, lane departure. So let's say you're driving down the road and then you go out of the lane a little bit, it will beep at you. You can turn that beep on and off. Then it also brings you back, centers you. You only be playing ping pong. It's going to send you right back in place and keep you on the road, okay? So now that's all of your Honda sensing features right over here on the right hand side. We're going to talk about stuff over in the wipers. So you got adjustable and then wipers. You got your rear wipers here, paddle, paddle shifters. Then we got your auto lights. Then you got your fog lights. Fog lights on and off. Lights on auto right now. They're off. Then you got your brights as you pull down. You can see that. And there we go. Go to the indicator for your fog lights on and off. You'll see that right up over there. Okay. Now let's talk about the stuff over here on this side here. You're going to have your volume, media controls. You're going to have your home. You got your voice command. Hey, call Crazy Honda Chris. And you got a little wheel action. Right here, I'm going to show you that wheel action right out there on the driver's interface. Let's talk about it now. All right, so as you start from the phone, as you go on the phone, you can pair up multiple phones. You can see who you have saved right in there for you. Your navigation is going to be the compass. Basin south right now, driver's attention monitoring system. The car is going to know the difference between the wind blowing you around and you doing a really bad job at driving. And if you are doing a really bad job at driving, the car is going to do everything that's powered to let you know. It's going to toggle. It's going to make an audible sound depending on what you have the setting at that you need to pull over and take a break. Okay. You got all-wheel drive torque so you can see where all the all-wheel drive is going to what wheel and how much. Seat belts. You can see who's sitting where. I'm not wearing a seat uh, seat belt. Guilty, as you can see, I'm on the driver's seat. I'm not wearing a seat belt. Now let's plug one right in, so you can see what it's going to look like here. It's going to be. We will pass my cord. Plug that in, and there we go. So it's going to be a nice little green. And then when I take it out, it's a live feed right there for you. Okay. Maintenance. You've got any maintenance as required for the vehicle? Kind of pops up right there. Tire pressure, you have a direct tire pressure monitoring system. You can see which tire right there is going to be low. It also comes with fill assist. So I have a video that talks more detail about the fill assist and how it works. Check that video out. Safety supports. So if you want to do a quick point of reference to turn certain things off, you can. For example, like your road departure right in here. Your blind spot information system. I'm going to turn this on so the next people take it out for a test drive. They can experience it. We already talked about the blind spot. And then... You're going to have your low speed braking control. This is pretty awesome. I experienced this uh, when I was taking the car through the car wash. So I went to kind of those parking sensors, front and rear parking sensors. Since you're going to have the object at going very low speeds, like ideal for the parking lot, it warns you, then it stops you. It did that for the brushes in the car wash. So you may have to turn that off before you guys go through the car wash, okay? You got your parking sensors. Your forward collision right there. So if you ever want to disable that stuff, you can. Now, as you kind of mess around with this stuff, you'll see that that little card down here below. Some of the stuff is going to change how it's going to look to let you know, hey, all of it's on, part of it's not, stuff like that on your surroundings. All right. No contact. You can change the brightness of your driver's interface. Gauge display. If you want to hide some stuff, you can. Let's make sure everything. Yep, everything is available. It's simple to kind of push it in with the wheel. Warnings. Got none right now. Fuel and range. So this is all going to be computer generated. This number is always going to change, guys, for your range. It's going to learn from your driving habits, the train stuff like that. All right. So right now on a, on a uh, full tank of gas, right down below, we can go 370 nine miles right there okay this right down here below is going to show you from zero to 50 your current lifetime feed where you're getting for miles per gallon you got your speed and time so you guys get on the track and do whatever you guys are going to be doing having a little fun you can keep track of that and back to audio and back to phone so that's everything right there on the left hand side through that menu on the driver's interface now, as we're looking more at the driver's interface, you're going to have a speeder meter here, and then you also got a digital one right up there. You got different modes right now are normal. We're going to get to those modes here soon, 
Outside temperature is 32 degrees. It feels a lot colder because of that wind, guys. It's not nice today. Now, right over here, you get your mileage. As you can see, we're in park, and then you can see we have a full tank of gas, as we already talked about from there. All right. So yes, that's the driver's interface. Pretty nice and easy, okay? Temperature gauge, lights and stuff will come on. If it's too cold, it's gonna be a blue light that comes up. If it's hot, you can see a red light that comes up with a thermostat from that point too as well. So that's gonna be your temperature gauge from there, okay? Now, as we get done talking about what's on the driver's interface, let's come right over here to the right-hand side and talk about this touchscreen here quick, okay? So touchscreen, we're at the home menu here. You have all apps. You can choose what apps you want to display right up here. As you guys got the test drive these, just kind of thumb through it, play around a little bit with the touchscreen. You got your phone, you can put multiple phones, music options. We got plenty of music, you got an FM. Let's say you find a radio station that you love. All you have to do is click and hold and then it saves it pretty nice and easy you can save over stations i haven't found a way yet to delete stations but you can go up to 12 stations here for the fm all right so you got bluetooth you got smartphone connection apple carplay and android auto it's wireless if you have an android phone you just have to download android auto then allow all the permissions then it just connects apple carplay you just Connect it and you're just good to go. It's going to take like your maps, other uh, compatible apps, and display it right up there on the uh, touchscreen. Once again, it's wireless. Okay. You have Sirius XM, three months of that for free. After that, you have to contact them to continue that paid subscription. All right. We're going to have a trip monitor here. If you guys are big on keeping on your trip A, trip B, stuff like that information, you got it on your fingertips now. No CD player, but hey, download your stuff onto a flash drive. It's a plug and play. There we go. So that way you're not having a whole bunch of CDs stuff thrown around everywhere, okay? We'll save you some clutter just for the little bit of inconvenience. You got your general settings. You're going to, oops. I need to slow down. Vehicle settings, so you can customize all of your vehicle settings, safety stuff, and the doors unlocked. I'm going to have the videos here soon for that for you guys. AM radio. As you can see, you, know, you guys can read all this stuff. Honda Link, check out hondalink.com. tells you what trim level is compatible for what Honda Link package right there for you guys. Compass, and you got smart shortcuts. Cabin talk. Oh, yeah. I can see this. I can use this a lot. So let's say I'm on a road trip here. I got my young whippersnappers, my kids back there, right? And then I got to yell at them, tell them, hey, you know, we got X amount of miles until the bathroom break, you know? There we go. All right. So I got the volume and everything on. I don't know if you guys care. The echo is playing through the speakers back there. So I'd be like, Cameron, knock it off back there. Or Cameron, you know, we got to use the bathroom to, you know, to whatever. You guys get the point. And then I can hit this button here and mute it. And I can have it right there in quick demand if I need to. Okay. So that's going to be a fun little feature that can be annoying to tell my kids great dad jokes. Now, a cool little trick too as well on this. You can organize the shortcuts if you want to. Right down there. Look at that. I just saved over that. Or if I wanted to get all these music options or sources on the same page, I can. I can move things around as I see fit or as you guys see fit. Okay. So pretty nice and cool. You can just minimize a lot of cool stuff right there for you guys. Okay. So we you know about the home. We you know about the music sources. Audio source right up here. Oops, let's go ahead and click that. Give you guys a quick one last visual so you can see what all those are available there for you guys. FM, AM, satellite radios, X, Sirius XM, USB, Bluetooth, and smartphone connection. Okay. Now we're going to back out right up here quick after talking about the test screen. We're going to look at the dashboard here quick. Let's talk about the adjustable vents. All right. My passenger got one over there. Two here. We can argue and debate with who gets what. And then I got mine right there for us, okay? Has their lights, if you ever need these bad boys, they're right there. You get this big tray right here. That's gonna be great. You can put phones and stuff right up there. I'm glad they brought that back. Now let's talk about the climate controls. All right, so now as we're looking at your climate controls, you got your heated seats, three chair, you got high, medium, and low, and off. Same with the passenger over here. No one's there, so let's turn that off. You got your different modes for your climate. You can see that right over here. 
You got temperature, dual climate, boom and boom, passengers. You know what? You got your fan speed right here. AC on and off, front defroster, rear defroster with heated side mirrors, air circulation, off. Let's turn it all back on. Maybe it's just me in the car. I want to have the power of all the climate. Boom. You know what? Maybe uh, the people in the back are, you know, the kiddos are complaining about not getting enough air or they're too cold. Let's turn that up. I can lock them out too as well right here. So rear settings, I can lock them out so they can't fight and argue about it. Or I can turn it off. And you can see that when it's locked right there. Rear settings, rear climate, locked. Let's turn it back on for them. All right, so now that's all of your climate controls, center controls right down here below. You have a little tuck away tray. You have a USB-C, then you have a USB plug-in, a 12 volt plug-in, a wireless phone charger with a massive tray. So I can put a phone here and I can put another phone here. All right, so it's pretty big. Test it out, guys. A couple cup holders. There's no shifter. It's all gonna be buttons, okay? So as you're driving down the road, I can't just be smacking buttons. You actually have to put your foot down on the brake pedal all right so as i put the foot down on the brake pedal i push that button back towards you you see that was red to green your multi-angle camera automatically displays okay so with that these buttons down here below is going to show you how the camera is going to act there's a nice 180 view catches a little more of your blind spot more of a right behind you view than a straight down shot from your rear bumper view and then as i turn my wheel guess what happens that turns colors and lets you know when you're lining stuff not okay This is your cross traffic mounting system. So when every time you're in reverse, a car is coming from the side, it's gonna warn you. And then it's gonna point out what direction it's coming from too as well. You're gonna have a neutral, then a drive, and then the S mode too. Between those, you'll see that right up there on the driver's interface. You see an S, now you see a D. All right, S mode is gonna turn off your idle stop. And it's gonna change the gear ratio, stuff like that for you. Now as we get back into the backup camera you hit this button you got your parking sensors you can see which one's going off and where and then you have this little doohickey here to adjust the brightness of your driver's interface to as well all right i gotta play a little bit here with the climate for some reason overheating all right so let's talk about stuff right over here down down the window all right so you have electrical parking brake right here as you pull that right up it's going to engage there for you guys you can see it's a little red light then right up here on the driver's interface you can see it right there okay now to turn that off you can't just push it in you have to have to put your foot down on the brake pedal and push it in and then now it's off okay you have a whole brake i have a video that goes more detail about the whole brake for you guys how it works out check that out okay you can have idle stop button right here if you want to turn that off. You can. It's a simple click on that button. And then you can see right up there, idle stop is off. But you have to do it, though, every time when you get into the car. Otherwise, it's going to die on you when the car meets it. You know, I want to say die. It shuts off the engine when you're idling and everything meets your requirement. Okay? Hill descent control. It's right here. And just like that, you can see when it's on. Hill descent control on. Locks you right in place. So that's going to be pretty nice. Keeps you at those speeds when you're going down a hill. That's going to, what it's going to try to do. Turn right off. Now you have a couple of different drive modes, okay? I'm going to play around with this toggle thing. Once you kind of let it hover, it automatically changes it for you guys. So let's kind of play around a little bit with this. <clears throat> All right. So we have a sport mode. We're going to start right up the top. You see a sport mode. All right. You also see the little red bar up here. It's a quick, nice little visual. Sport mode. It's going to change up the little gear ratio, a little more fun driving. You have a normal mode for your normal city driving that you would do. And then from there, we're going to have a econ mode. So with econ, is going to change how the car is going to perform to optimize your handling. And though, uh, sorry, econ mode is going to change up the AC power and acceleration power to give you better highway fuel economies where you're going to see the most of that effect of that, okay? 
Now, snow mode, I was jumping the gun there for a second, guys. I do apologize. Snow mode is going to change how your car is going to handle in the snow environment to optimize your handling in the snow. Okay? So, this is going to be great. So, if you have about an inch of snow, I definitely recommend you turning that on and kind of going at those lower speeds there for you with the snow. You have a trail mode. Throw some uh, information up there so you guys see what that is. It's going to change your vehicle stability, says. It's going to change how the car is going to perform once again. And then you have a sand mode. Once again, the uh, vehicle stability assist is off. Um, the car is going to do everything that's power from keeping the, you know, the sand, getting back, you know, burying it. Then we're going to have a tow mode, all right? So a lot of different modes and a midsize SUV. Pretty awesome, guys. Hopefully, I answer a lot of you guys' questions about those modes. All right, so now we've got done talking about that stuff right over here. we got an armrest right here, nice big leather. We're going to share one. It's kind of nice, simplified as you kind of look at it all, coming right on together for your center controls. Let's open this right up. What's down here? Really nothing fancy, nice and simple. I can hide my Funyuns down here, any snacks, maybe my quarters for my six-year-old son. Cameron likes to go out and play pool, so I keep those on demand. Now, right over here, we got a glove box. It's going to be lockable, okay? Opens right up. Deep enough to throw anything in there. You're going to forget about it. It goes like into a whole new dimension. I promise you guys, you probably will forget about what's in there. Anyways. Now, there we go. We shut that right there. Check out the passenger front seat. We're going to come right here to the auto dimming rear view mirror. We're going to have garage door openers right here. Little lights, LED lights for the interior. Let's turn all of them on so you can see them all. All right, so back there, so I have it in the center. So when I open up a car door, guess what? That comes right on, or I can turn it off right there for you, okay? Place for the sunglasses, a little conversation mirror. So I'd be like, hey, don't make me turn this car around. Or I can see what's kind of bouncing around back there for cargo if I need to fasten anything from there. Courtesy light, a little mirror. Courtesy light, a little mirror. All right, so a couple more things I forgot to mention during this video, guys, because there's a lot to talk about, but little things in the, you know, devil's in the details, right? Let's talk about, for example, you get the fuel efficiency backlight as you're driving, you get that green bar that's going to be up there. You know what? Let's just show you guys, all right? There it is. As you're being fuel efficient, you get a green bar. When you're not, it goes away. Now, you're also going to have traffic sign recognition systems going to be displaying up there. So when this front camera right here on the windshield finds a speed limit sign, it's going to throw it right up there for you guys as a constant reminder. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool too as well. We're also going to have rear seat reminder. So if every time someone opens up the back door when we get into the vehicle, stuff like that, you do get a rear seat reminder um, from that point. Okay. You know what? Let me just show you guys here quick what that's going to look like. <sighs> Oops. All right, jump right in, kiddos. All right, we're driving wherever we're going. And then we shut off the car. Boom, rear seat reminder. Hey, check your rear seats, okay? And then we also have this really cool, uh, cool feature too as well that it's got a speed limit threshold. So when you go over your speed limit, it's going to warn you. You can adjust the settings on that. I'll show you guys more of that in my vehicle settings videos, okay? Well, thanks again for watching, guys. Appreciate you guys so much and for your support.